So ethylene's really important for, for kiwi fruit. Kiwi fruit's one of the most sensitive uh, horticultural crops to ethylene. So we we target managing it um, intensively in our, in our supply chain. Um, we know that low levels, really low levels, um, possibly below one part per billion, are still effective at uh, at speeding up the ripening of, of kiwi fruit. So trying to scrub or or remove ethylene. Uh, take away the the risks, the places that ethylene might come from, rotting fruit, um, to making sure trucks are turned off when they're unloading their fruit, so that we don't have exhaust fumes. As uh, one of the byproducts of combustion engines is is ethylene. So, we're, as an industry, we're really focused on trying to make sure we manage ethylene. But um, managing ethylene is all about measuring ethylene. If you can't measure it, how do you manage it? So. In the absence of not being able to measure it, we just manage it anyway. Um, but our future state is to be able to take a device and put it on the wall of a of a cool room, every cool room, and then monitor what level we've got and know when we've got a problem. That might mean you've got to have some strategies to, Im- to improve scrubbing or removing the ethylene or taking away the risk product. So taking away product that's maybe too ripe, too soft, uh, and is infecting or affecting the rest of your crop. So, yeah, we, we're um, we're really focused on on ethylene management. Now, the way for us to measure ethylene in our cool stores at the moment is to use a gas chromatograph. So we take a, a gas sample um, into a syringe often uh, in our cool store. Um, and because the air is turbulent in the cool store, it's moving around because of the fans and the, and the evaporator, um, we end up, not having to worry about the fact that ethylene is slightly less dense than air so it would rise it's being mixed up into the cool store so just go into the room and take a gas sample um, in a syringe seal up that syringe prevent it from leaking and then fairly quickly take it from the cool room to a gas chromatograph and of course there's not one of those in every cool store operation in the kill fruit industry we actually only have a couple of companies that do those measurements for us uh, so it has to be transported. You've got to be careful during transport. Changes in pressure, changes in temperature could change the amount of gas inside the uh, the syringe. Then they uh, uh, eject that gas sample into a, into a gas chromatograph, and at some time soon after, you'll get a result that'll be sent to you, and it, with a bit of luck, you see the result and you do something about it if it's not where you wanted it to be. The bonus with having something that's near real time or real time in the in the cool store is that we can react a whole lot quicker. And um, horticultural crops and kiwi fruits no different. Being most sensitive to ethylene, it responds really quickly to being in the presence of ethylene. So the longer you take to to change the environment or scrub out the ethylene, the poorer the outcome is going to be. the 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 effects of ethylene are irreversible um, and our, also the downside of ethylene production and impact on a fruit is the autocatalytic um, production of ethylene so ethylene drives the production of more ethylene so it's uh, it's less than perfect situation if uh, the ethylene levels around your fruit in particular kiwi fruit are too high for too long. Measuring ethylene in a cool room with the current system we've got it's People are taking a sample every seven days or in some cases a sample every uh, 14 days. Unfortunately, because ethylene's so quick to have an impact, you need to, you know, one every seven days is potentially going to miss the boat. You're going to miss the problem. So I like, I love the idea of taking a measurement way more frequently than that in every cool room. If that's a device on every wall, that's awesome. That's what I... I'd love to see that because then you can be more responsive, more reactive to to near real time. I say near real time because I know some of these devices need to take a sample over a length of time to be accurate, and that's cool. Better than that, three hours, four hours, five hours, than it is once every seven days. Uh, you're potentially six days too late for a, for an event if you've only just taken a sample yesterday and you're not due to take another one until next week um, 
a lot of kiwi fruit can can uh, go to waste if uh, if we're that late or that unresponsive to measuring ethylene.